वेलकम एवरी वन टूडे वी विल लर्न दैट हाउ एन यूजर कैन डिलीट हिज और हर अकाउंट परमानेंटली फ्रॉम आवर सिस्टम इन द प्रीवियस वीडियोज वी क्रिएटेड साइन अप पेज लॉग इन पेज एंड लॉग आउट बटन यू कैन एक्सेस दोज वीडियोज इन आवर पी एच पी प्ले लिस्ट सो टूडे वी विल राइट द कोड टू डिलीट अकाउंट परमानेंटली सो फॉर द न्यू व्यूअर्स लेट मी डेमोन्स्ट्रेट द प्रोजेक्ट एट फर्स्ट so this is our index.php where our sign up form is here this is the code for signing up i have the login page and after logging in an user can access dashboard.php so let me open the page in browser okay so i will sign up as a new user so this is a new user the username is abcdef password 12 12 and sign up you have successfully signed up so i need to log in now i will write the username abcdef and the password which is 12 log in now i am inside the dashboard.php i can log out by pressing this button it will take me to the login.php i can log in again and want to okay so we will go to the dashboard.php and let's write the code to delete the account so at first i will create a form in this form the type is submit and i will change the name of the button destroy sub okay and it will have a text inside it which is delete account permanently okay now let's check our page we can see that i have another button here delete account permanently so let's make that button functional i will write the php code just below the form php and the closing tag now i need to give a if condition if is set post and the name of the button which is extra sub i will simply paste it here and i will start the process inside it what i will do um i will get the user name and password not the password i only need the user name i will get the user name here which is available in our session variable this one okay so i will write the sql query here at first i will create a variable get username and i will assign it a value which is this one okay now the username is stored in this variable uh, for the new viewers i want to say one thing that in the login.php when we started the session we created this variable send username and we assigned it with the value get username okay and this get username stores the username inputted by the user while logging in in the login form this variable we are using in dashboard.php okay so i have assigned the value to the get username now what i will do i will write the sql query i will create a variable at first sql and inside it i will write the code which is <coughs> delete from user details where 
user name equal to then the name of the variable okay done now i need to apply my sql query function and i will store the result in sql rest variable my sql query this takes two argument as you know first one is connect which is our connection variable which is this one connect and now the second variable which is sql the sql query variable this one okay when this all is done then what will happen this two session unset and session destroy in the previous video we saw that what this functions do okay now the user will be forwarded to the location login.php i need to do one more thing here we can see that i have not required the db.php so in the dashboard.php i don't have any access to our db okay let me open my db at first this is my db and this is the table user details where i have four columns sign id full name username and password and i am finding the username which i need to delete in the column username as we saw in the query okay so i need to require the db here i will write require here i need to paste the path of the the file partial slash underscore dbcon.php okay and i will add exit here also now let's check the page if everything is working or not i will log in at first i need a username and password i will use this one my name and 1 2 3 my name and 1 2 3 and if i log in i am in the dashboard.php now if i press delete account permanently we are in the login.php and if i check the db now here i have the value and if i refresh we can see that the row is gone so it is deleted permanently from our database we will delete another user suppose this one john kumar the username is abcdef and the password is 12 so i will go to the login page abcdef and the password was 12 okay 12 login and uh, now i want to delete the account permanently so i will press the button we are back in login page and if i refresh the db we can see that the john kumar is gone from our database so that's how we can delete a an user okay and that's all for the video thank you for watching